Did you know that you can use number properties to simplify integer operations? Let's list out a couple of properties that we could use in integer operations and then apply them. The first property is the commutative property. And the commutative property talks about the order of numbers, that the order of integers can be changed around in order to find a product or to find a sum. The associative property talks about moving parentheses, that you can move the parentheses around in a, pro in a problem and not affect the sum or the product. And the distributive property is a way to simplify an expression by getting rid of parentheses, by distributing a term outside of the parentheses and multiplying it by both of the terms or the multiple terms inside the parentheses. Now let's apply these three properties to some expressions that have integers in them. Which property would you use to simplify this expression? In order to figure that out, let's look at what I'm going to do to simplify this expression. What I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to combine like terms. I have a 4x minus 3x, but then I have a plus 9x over here. So I can move this plus 9x. I can say 4x minus 3x plus 9x plus 2y. Then I can perform the combining of like terms right here. 4x minus 3x is 1x plus 9x would give me 10x plus 2y. Now what did I do? I changed the order of the numbers. There isn't a set of parentheses. I didn't have to distribute any terms. So all I did was change the order of these numbers. This is an example of the commutative property. Now let's take a look at this one. I have 4x plus the quantity 2x minus 3y plus 8x. Well, again, I'm going to combine like terms, but because of these parentheses, it tells me, according to the order of operations, to simplify this first, which I can't do because the terms aren't alike. So I'm going to move the parentheses, and moving the parentheses won't change my answer. Watch. 4x plus 2x minus 3y plus 8x. Now I can combine like terms. 4x plus 2x gives me 6x minus 3y plus 8x. So in this first part, I've used the associative property. Now look at this next step. I have 6x and I have 8x. I'm going to move the 8x and I'm going to combine like terms. 6x plus 8x is 14x minus 3y. In this second part, I used the commutative property. Now let's look at one more. Negative 8 times x minus 3. I'm going to use the distributive property here. I'm going to distribute this negative x to both of the terms inside the parentheses. Negative 8 times x is negative 8x. Negative 8 times a negative 3 is a positive 24. Negative 8x plus 24 is the simplified answer for this problem. Now I've been able to use number properties to simplify integer expressions.